Shalom, shalom again. Let's continue our lessons uh, concerning Hebrew words uh, that are really connected with our uh, local uh, language, the Maharlikan. At uh, ngayon ay ating pag-aralan mga kapatid at ating mga viewers ay itong dalawang Hebrew words na Tolda at Yanak. Tolda ay letter uh, Tav, Lamed, Dalet and hey okay and it is pronounced as tolda ang ibig pong sabihin nito ay uh, uh, generation descent family or house euphemism niya is house kagaya doon sa kay haring david the house of david means the family of david king david so <clears throat> ang tolda meaning uh, descent generations or family or house Okay, so yan ang ibig sabihin ng tolda. Uh, ang plural is toldot. At kung gusto nyo makita yan, doon sa Hebrew lexicon, number niya is 8435. Uh, gusto nyo makita doon at makit, malaman ang ibig niyang sabihin. Ang tolda ay mayroon din tayong word na tolda. At yan yung temporary shelter. Yung atawag yan ay tent. Okay. So, ang uh, tent na yan ay temporary shelter or temporary house. At dito nga, yung tulda, ang euphemism nito ay house. Okay? Yung family means house. Okay? At yung ating tulda is the same uh, uh, word doon sa shelter. No? Yung tulda ay isang shelter. So, tolda, the Hebrew word tolda is uh, uh, with connection doon sa ating uh, local word na tolda. Another word, yanak. Yanak, uh, letter yod, letter non, and letter kof. Yung yanak, ang ibig pong sabihin sa Hebrew ay suckling. Causatively ay to give milk. Yan ang ibig sabihin, no? suckling. So, if you want to, uh, if you want to verify that, uh, you can uh, look at uh, Strong Hebrew Lexicon number 2343. And uh, makikita nyo doon na ang ibig sabihin ng yanak means suckling. At yan ay katumbas <coughs> ng ating word na anak. Okay? Yanak, anak. Okay? So, ano ba yung maliit na anak? Di ba? Yung mga dumidide, no? Yanak means a suckling one. So, tolda and yanak are both Hebrew words that correlates with our word tolda and anak. Shalom, shalom. Thank you so much.